like this for both teams that kind of stumble to the finish line. Yeah, not like a typical monster game tonight if they're going to have a chance to win. Yeah, he's going to have to play well. McDermott able to slither his way in and back to Brogdon. McDermott is there. How short their leash is going to be with these starting units. Washington misses on the three. Offensive rebound, Washington misses. Bridges extends, puts it down. Lost their last five games. Really stumbled to that finish line as McDermott knocks in another. Great, you had to wonder, and Indiana had to wonder as McDermott lines up again, corner three. Here comes Brogdon. Dropping a dime. Here comes Sabonis, puts it on the deck. Seven of ten from deep. And Charlotte just trying to weather the storm. Certainly not this season, maybe in his career. On that beautiful assist, three to shoot. As Graham has to fire wow. and sticks it. <laughs> not exactly how Devontae Graham had drawn it up. But then again, the shooting ranges, GA, of these guys just seems to get that layup in transition. Two seconds off the inbound. Sumner shot puts it down. Just able to split the defense and get it all the way in, partner, and the Pacers are rolling. Indiana with 11 assists on their 15 made baskets. You're watching. Hi, GA. They said, look, no one expected us to be here to begin with. McDaniels, Pacers keep it alive. Holiday, the drive and kick. Sumner. Inexperience. Because it is a different game, and you see. Three-point shot by Malik Monk. His first offering of the night won't go. Look at Martin. And then Indiana coughs it up at the other end. No one home. Make a push before the end of the half. Monk back door. Bridges. Timing so far in this opening half. Yeah, they've done. That's the one thing they have done, Charlotte. Just such a unique skill set. Turn back. Look at Bridges. Inside for Charlotte. And then at the other end, it's Monk. I think and so. Bonus is shaken up. Washington underneath kicks out to Monk. Shot clock at five. Monk the little Euro step. Postseason basketball, and it's a different game. And they just have not made the adjustment. Brogdon the drive and kick. Justin Holiday from deep. Key guys. But so far, they have been dominant. Uh, there's no way I could believe that. Little pick and roll action right now over this next three minute stretch. You just got to get a rhythm offensively and Brogdon back. And boy, the Pacers have come out here and just been electric. The other thing they did really well with him, they were terrific in crunch time. <laughs> Put the uniform on for Indiana. Here's Brissett again from deep. It's target practice. And just like that, Indiana's lead back to 29 points. A couple of weeks of the season, but they lost their last five games. And put them in this. Making Charlotte pay for the mistakes, the breakdowns defensively. Holiday again. Pacers shooting at a 59% clip. You know, he didn't have it going offensively, but his passing and rebounding. To be able to advance to the postseason. So, McConnell, all the issues that they've had as LaMelo Ball's three pointer. Look at that Indiana defense extending about five feet beyond the three point line. The other thing that's impressive, like literally everyone for the Pacers who's played has played well as Bridges gets lost in translation there. Nice find. Season had that foot injury. Warren was just. A revelation for this franchise in the bubble last summer in Orlando. Another look at that LaMelo ball pass. He's definitely had a much better finish to the game than he did start. It's about the only thing that hasn't gone right. You would expect Washington to have a great chance to get this win on the road. All the questions that the Pacers had to answer over the last couple of weeks of the season.